My name is Ethan Feinschreiber, and I have a passion for educating the world about snakes. One of the things I've learned from doing field research is that just because something can be found anywhere doesn't always mean that it'll be easy to find. Many of northern Utah's rarely seen snakes can be hiding right under our noses, and we don't even know it. And they especially aren't snakes you have to drive hours away into the desert to see. Take the desert night snake, for example. This snake's range covers roughly the entire state of Utah, and yet an encounter is no simple task. So I'll thank my lucky stars for this unexpected moment. Oh, no. What? What? Oh, my f***ing... Take a look at this little snake. This is not just any snake. From a distance, this can easily be mistaken for a gopher snake. Some people even think that these are rattlesnakes, but this is so, so much cooler. This is the desert night snake. What gives this snake its name, the desert night snake? These guys are, of course, desert dwellers. So they get the name night snake because they are nocturnal. They come out at night, mostly during the summer months. Now, this is a small snake, but I wouldn't say a, a baby. This is actually a full grown adult. They do get bigger than this. They can probably get upwards of about two feet at most. Southern Utah is a much more easy place to find them. But up here in Northern Utah, I don't think of this as a common snake. They're actually not that rare. They're just elusive, basically just completely unaccessible to anything that lives up here on the surface like us humans. There's actually two different subspecies or two different types of desert night snake you can find in the state of Utah. If you're in Western Utah, you're looking at a Northern desert night snake, which is what I have in my hands right now. However, if you're in Eastern Utah, you will find something called the Mesa Verde night snake. And those guys actually look a little bit different, not a lot different. For those of you out there who are scared of snakes and you happen to see this, is this a dangerous snake? And the answer is no. This is a completely harmless snake, and yet it is venomous. This is what is considered a mildly venomous snake. There's a lot of species of venomous snake that are actually still completely harmless to humans. And that's possible because the venom is not toxic enough to be of any medical significance to a human. Though it is not toxic enough to really do any harm to me, it is very much toxic to the stuff that it eats. These guys are primarily lizard eaters, um, and they go after a lot of sorts of lizards. The way this snake actually envenomates its prey is quite different from a lot of venomous snakes. So they immediately grab a lizard, and after that, they immediately start chewing. And when they chew, that actually works the venom into their saliva and eventually into its prey. Now the fangs of this snake are not actually in the front of the mouth like a rattlesnake. They're actually in the back of the mouth and the fangs are not actually hollow like a rattlesnake's either. They're grooved. If you ever were to get bit by the snake, the chances of you actually even getting envenomated at all are just so slim because they have such tiny little mouths, touch such tiny little fangs. And the great thing is they never bite anyway. I've never seen a, a night snake try to bite anyone. Their defense mechanisms are mostly musking. They let out this foul smelling stuff out of their butt. Um, and it's not pee or poo, it's kind of like a skunk spray, but instead of spraying it, they sort of just leak it on you. If wiggling around and musking doesn't work, after you put them down again, they have a very, very, very unique defense mechanism that is not employed by any other snakes I am aware of. They do something called coning. Coning basically means the snake will curl around and turn itself into a literal cone, and then just stay there. Does the Desert Knights they make a good pet? The answer is no. This is not a good pet because it only eats the lizards that it naturally lives around. The closest thing to this I can probably recommend to you would be an African house snake. African house snakes are a lot like night snakes in the sense that they're built very similarly, they feel very similarly, they have those vertical pupils just like those, and I've heard they're actually really easy snakes to take care of. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to educate yourself on the northern desert night snake. I'll see you guys next time with possibly an even cooler snake. Boy, is that gonna be tough. The unpredictability of these elusive snakes makes for an exciting encounter anytime it happens. But that also means I have no idea when and where I may see one again. So if you happen to see one in Utah, don't consider yourself a victim to a snake encounter. Consider yourself lucky. If you enjoyed this episode of Snakes on the Brain, let me know by giving this video a like. And if you want to learn about other snakes I've caught, make sure to subscribe. Take your tongue. Blah, 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 blah. He says, ooh, what's that? There's a nice shot. <laughs> and there he goes.
All the snakes do this. All the snakes I film do this.